In this video, I'll show you how to scan a Telegram QR code on all types of different mobile devices. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like. And let's jump straight into this guide. There's likely to be two reasons for why you're trying to scan a Telegram QR code, and I'll explain both and the multiple reasons why. So the first reason may be because someone else is giving you a QR code to go and add them on Telegram or to go and join their group. Or alternatively, you they may, you may need to scan a QR code if you want to go and log in on Telegram and your desktop. So firstly, I'll show you how to go and sc scan someone else's QR code to go and join their group or add them. And secondly, I'll show how to go and log in on Telegram on your computer using a QR code. So if someone's given you their QR code, what you need to do is go and get a QR code reader. If you're using an iPhone, you can actually go and use the default camera app. So go and open it up. And then when you go and scan the Telegram QR code, it's gonna go and give the option to go and tap on it. Or alternatively, you can go and get a QR code app, go onto the app store and go and search for QR scanner. And there's loads of these apps. I use this one here. Go and open it up and then you can go and scan the QR code and then you can go and open the link and then Telegram is going to automatically be opened. But now let's go and get into the second method of scanning a, a Telegram QR code to log in on desktop. So open up Telegram and then go and tap on settings in the bottom right, just like so. Or if you're using a Android device, then what you need to do is go and tap on the three stacked bars in the top left and then go and tap on settings and you'll be taken to this page here. Then what you need to do is go and tap on devices in the settings page. Then all you need to do is tap on link desktop device, that big button, just like so. And as you can see, you can then go and scan your QR code. It's that easy. If you found this guide useful, please go down below and consider leaving a like. Peace.